Solo players are for the most part looked down on in the Rust community as the weaker player. Why this? Because we're usually outnumbered and even outgunned? In this video I'm gonna show you how this has some truth to it, but also how it's a big lie. Confused? Well, it will make more sense later on. First we need to get a start. Fucking perfect. Now I had a base, but I would only use this as storage. With all the scrap I got when starting out, I went to outpost and bought a jackhammer. And I set out to find a location for my base, collecting resources on the way. Found a good place and started building on the base. What the fuck?
Meet my neighbor. Let's call him Jim for now. Another solo player living in the compound right next to me. I already knew he was gonna be a problem. But also helpful. But anyway, let's get back to the story. I was on a bag timer so I decided to just take this opportunity to transfer the loot from my storage base to the main base. Nice. Ah, okay. I heard some shots in the distance and went to check it out. It looked like this base was getting raided. Let's see if I can gain anything here. Fucking kidding me. <sighs> I had died, but there were so many dead bodies there, so I went back. And I went back again. And again. Fuck, man. Until they left to go back. I grabbed as much as I could and ran it back to base. Meet wherever this thing is. Bro, I'm nine and you got destroyed. What a little shit. Well, he and his clan live in a compound nearby. We will call them the Hotel Boys. Because of this sign outside of their compound. They would help me a lot throughout my time on the server. I'm gonna do the launch like puzzle. Basically all I want is scrap. Like really. It's all I need. Three. 
gotta be fucking kidding me. Jim's furnace base was getting raided. Fuck. After this, I did some farming. Then I laddered into the clan compound that was getting raided before. These guys were stacked. No! Some new neighbors moved in. After this, they rage quit. And I went to check out the Hotel Boys' base to see if I could gain anything. I'm gonna try to raid this. The explosive ammo I got from country raiding. I saw a lot of doors open, so I'm thinking it's pretty open in there. Should be pretty easy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to main because I only have enough explosives for one door. So I'm thinking right here. Because it looks pretty open. Oof, 
Oh. Oh yeah. These guys are fucking loaded. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, dude. Nice, dude. I needed a fucking garage door. Now I'm just gonna soft pick everything. But first, I'm gonna transfer all the loot. Come on. Hey. Fuck off. I'm thinking this. I mean, that's the best thing I've got so far. We have gotten a lot of components from these guys. Okay, I'm gonna go and buy two more jackhammers. Ooh. Feeling this could be absolutely loaded. By using their level 3 workbench, I crafted some explosive ammo. started to open doors. Fuck, they're online. I mean, I got profit. We got so much stuff from them. And we got to craft some explosive ammo. I went back, but they had already sealed. So I logged off. And when I logged back in, someone was trying to soft pick my base. Ironic, right? It was Jimmy, my neighbor. To show him that it was a mistake to fuck with me, I went straight to raid his furnace base. After this, I logged off and went to get some quick food. And I think Jimmy took me raiding him a bit too personal. I didn't record his part, but I logged back in 15 minutes after I had logged off, dead to a satchel. So I spawned in my bag and Jimmy killed me. But I managed to see that he hadn't reached TC yet. So I spawned in my outside bag and that's also when I started to record. I managed to slip past him and get into my base. <sighs> I 
I was safe again. And he never reached my main loot, so I barely lost anything. And let's see here. He used 10 satchels. Then another 46 satchels. And then another 9. That's 65 satchels. Used and he never reached main loot. So even though I lost some shit, just knowing that got my mood up. After this nothing happened for a while. I did launch it. I hopped into a few compounds. So much fucking cloth, oh my god. <laughs> Yikes. 3.3k fucking cloth, oh my god. farm but now that someone had tried to raid me once I want to secure my base even more so I built a compound around it train was a bit scuffed but it will do I fucking fat finger tab, god damn it. Why you gotta be a dickhead, man? out Let's go!
I'm gonna hit these two because this one leads to the stairs I got to last time so that's no point going there He's a fucking retard. I should have just waited. <sighs> Man, do you have a spare tool? I can borrow. I just started. Hello? Hello? Do you have a spare tool? That I may borrow? What's your name? Kohlberg. No, 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 please don't shoot. Please don't, please don't. Don't shoot me, man. Why? Yeah, um, okay. He's on timer. Bye bye. Hello, dude. Who did he die to? What the? He's a god! So far in this video I've been able to keep up with the larger groups by playing smart, using their mistakes and putting a lot of time into the server. I've gotten up a compound around my base, something that is unusual for a solo player to achieve. But as I said before, even though I would say that solo players being the weaker player is a lie, there is some truth to it. Let me show you. 
I was standing AFK in my base, when I heard some footsteps outside of my base. They're starting to throw C4 on my base. I tried to defend as good as I could. But with one guy in the raid base... Two guys rocket PvP and one guy grenading as soon as it peaked. I already knew I had lost. And I knew for a fact I had lost when my game crashed. Why? <laughs> <sighs> when I got back in, they had already gotten control over the base and TC. So I couldn't do anything, so I just waited. And when they were done, I took my last semi set, got on my minicopter, and flew away to new adventures. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all the support on my latest video. It means so much to me. If you're new around here and wouldn't mind to hit the subscribe button, and like the video, it will mean the world to me. Special thanks to Ali for supporting me over on Patreon. If you also want to support me over there, there's a link down below. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, and goodbye.